Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This week we are using the Energy Oracle cards for our guidance, for our weekly Oracle guidance. And I would like you to simply choose the option number one, two or three as we go along. Take a moment to feel which resonates with you and then uh, you can go directly to your timestamp. I'm going to begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking what is our weekly Oracle guidance this week? What is it that we need to know this week? There's a card that's fallen out already. Um, and I want to just choose another card here. So what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? I feel that this card here is the card that wants to speak. And I know this is unusual for this um, for this channel, for the Oracle card readings, but I'd like to go ahead and choose one more card for you. Feels better, more rounded, and I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so we have door to romance, hostilities, and contract. So I would say as we go along in this week, um, there is an opportunity for love or there's an opportunity for romance to enter your life, not just in terms of love, but in the way in which you treat yourself, in the way in which you you care for yourself. And I feel here that with some of you, this could only be related to yourself. This could only be related to uh, the way you treat yourself as well as how you actually go about your life uh, well one of the options here is that it's time to actually open the door to romance for yourself and that includes um identifying where it is that you could be hostile towards yourself or being difficult with yourself or not being as kind as possible to yourself and then making a contract with yourself making a deal with yourself, telling yourself, well, this is not how it's going to be now. I'm going to change this. I am going to allow more romance into my life. And what I mean by romance here is that you're going to be nicer to yourself. You're going to allow yourself to enjoy nicer things. You're going to allow a little bit of love into your life in, in terms of the way you treat yourself or in, in terms of the way you allow others to treat you. So that is one of the options here. It's about identifying where is it that you could be nicer to yourself and where is it that you've not been good to yourself and then, you know, making the decision to actually overcome that. One of the other messages that come across here is that there could be an opening of love for you this week as you go along and it's it's up to you to actually allow that to happen or to be able to see that. So one of the messages here is don't get caught up in whatever it is that you're busy with, whatever hostilities that you may be encountering in other parts of your life. Simply allow yourself to see where romance may be bubbling up. So one of the messages I'm getting here is that you might be quite uh, busy or quite uh, caught up in whatever you're doing and whatever you're doing might have something to do with other people where you're not having the best relations where you may be angry where you may be disappointed where they may not be meeting your expectations and um, where legal matters may come into being so it might include you having to um, to to lay down the gauntlet when it comes to a, a business or a person or, or some individual who is contracted to do a service for you or, or to sell you some goods and they have not yet uh, followed through. So that is one aspect of this message. But it's saying that even though there is that, it's it's okay to allow the romance to come into your life. It's okay to allow yourself to be good to you. It's okay to, to, to light some candles, to go for that massage, to enjoy that music to be able to to be good to yourself regardless of what hostilities are coming your way or whatever hostilities you're facing rather it feels to me here that the um the door to romance is going to be the saving grace of this week for you where it is those moments that are going to matter it is those moments that are going to be the the tent poles that actually hold up your week and that so your week doesn't you know, collapse around you. So uh, the week also warns of um, 
or the card rather the cards rather one of the week being um having difficulty not actually um uh, experiencing the world as you would like to or perhaps you are not happy with a service delivered or something else you are not having your expectation met and you are the one who's experiencing this hostility towards another and it could be a family member it could be an outsider it could be an associate it could be a friend uh, it could be anyone and you actually feel here that you need to defend yourself you need to stand up for what is yours you need to fight for that and um you know i've said on many occasions ac across this channel that this year is a year where one needs to face um, injustice look at it into the eye and actually defend yourself from it and stand up for what is yours and so here there's another message that says that well you know if you feel that you are uh, getting the short end of the stick if you feel like you are the victim in this situation if you feel like things are not as it should be that you are being treated unfairly or unjustly then go right ahead and seek that legal uh, um, help assistance go ahead and and seek that and and take that uh, under your belt you don't need to be the you know accepting you don't need to accept whatever harm is coming your way or whatever hostility is coming your way or whatever difficulty is coming your way you don't need to have that in your life you can actually gain protection you can actually um take on the service of an attorney or or somebody who's going to actually help you to be able to bring that justice or or fight for you during the circum these circumstances and you can also do that for yourself so don't feel like you need to lay down and and take all of this you don't need to do that you can actually just um, allow the world to work for you and help you as you go along um, the other message I'm getting here is that perhaps it's okay to back off a little bit perhaps it's okay to um, if you feel like you're being a bit headstrong if you feel like you're really frustrated with things uh, with people uh, it's okay to actually take a step back and, and just say okay well that is how it is at this moment and I'm not going to fight right now I'm actually just going to um, t take a moment and let's watch this unfold so actually giving people around you the chance to do their work to do their job to do what they want to do so if this isn't a family situation well then giving those people around you the chance to show you their love and to actually um show you how much they care about you so i think that here you know there are two different messages here one of them is fight for what is yours and and um contract legal legal um assistance to be able to help you with that and then the other message is, you know, really just allow yourself also to take a step back and enjoy the romance that's in your life right now or create romance in your life in whichever way um, you actually experience that. It may be taking a walk out um, to a body of water and being able to look at that and experience that and perhaps that is romantic for you or being able to sit in the park and just watch the birds um chirp away whatever it is in whichever way you enjoy your um your life in whichever way you allow this romance to manifest in your life just allow more of that this week because as i mentioned earlier this is going to be the saving grace as you go along and um you know you can actually choose whether you fight or whether you step away sometimes you don't need to really fight sometimes you just need to assert yourself and say well this is not acceptable I'm not going to put up with this anymore. I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. And then it's enough. You don't have to actually engage in the fight. You just have to stand up for yourself. And you need to be able to understand your rights within the situation or what it is that is, uh, what it is that you're allowed to do, what it is that you have the right to do and what it is that you're not allowed to do because I feel that that's going to be important for you as you go along in this week. So I'm going to leave that for you uh, here and we're going to move on to the next um, option. I just want to wish you all a very blessed week. May you have all that you desire and may you be protected as you go along okay keep safe keep healthy and blessings to you all so for those of you who have chosen the option number two we're asking what is our weekly oracle guidance oops the cards are just flying all around today 
The first card we have is here, the door to personal healing and happiness. It's the number 34. I'm going to ask for a couple more cards. So what else do we need to know on this week for the option number two? We have the temple path. Is there anything else that those who've chosen the option number two need to hear this week? Okay. So I think that you have a really bright, beautiful message here. And it's very different from the first option. You know, it's very much, it's not to do with mundane things. It's more to do with your inner growth and um, transformation, as well as your, you know, just, just how you can attract abundance into your life right now and how you can manifest abundance in your life right now. And the message that I'm reading from here is that, you know, if you choose you, if you choose your happiness if you choose um you like like you prioritize you uh, as opposed to being pulled in different directions by different responsibilities that you have or obligations that you have so if you actually just choose you what's going to happen is that your path your um inner dev growth your development as a human being your soul devel development is actually what's going to help you vibrate at that level that you're going to be able to attract all that you desire and all that you need and what they're saying here is that this is a week where you can align yourself um, you can align your outward life your existence here with your soul requirements and what your soul desires and you can actually push forth and allow yourself to to engage the earth, the world that you live in through your desires, your innermost desires and what it is that you actually wish for and hope for and, and, and want to create in this world. The message here is that your door, the door to your personal healing and happiness is open. The path is clear and abundance awaits you. Abundance, happiness, joy, all that you wish for awaits you right here. So there's nothing in your way. There's no obstacles in your way. Now, if you are feeling that there are obstacles in your way, if you are um, laboring under um, oppression or feeling that you have difficulties in your life in any way or form, what it's saying is that Right now, you have the ability to be able to override that. And simply by dreaming, simply by fantasizing, simply by enjoying a moment alone with yourself, you can actually en engage that that manifestation power that you have and allow that to come into the world and and really be able to, f to find your happiness and feel um, a deep sense of fulfillment as a result of it. Uh, this is not, th these cards are not talking about, um, you know, deep work with your soul where, you know, you are bringing upon the, the you know, the dark night of the soul and you're working on, on a gritty level. This is talking about you actually enjoying it. It's about, it's really a card about daydreaming. And in that moment in which you are daydreaming, you are working with yourself and what your innermost desires are. You are actually connecting what it is that you that you want really what you truly want as opposed to what you think you want and and to be able to to bring that into being so i just want to spend a moment you know discussing that sometimes we think we want a certain thing because that's what it's going to look good like in paper or what that's what we need to want in this world to be able to fit in in it to be able to to function in this world and this card here is talking about actually just dropping that for a moment and just being just daydreaming just kind of feeling connecting with the, what it is that you want really and and not thinking about it too much but feeling it feeling it deep inside of you and allowing it to escape allowing it to to be um to to be free you know it's like um this bird has been indoors behind these doors and these doors are now open and you can fly freely and you can actually choose what you 
desire and this time is here. This These cards also talk to me about opportunities that arise right now that are able to free you, that are able to open pathways for you, where you're able to move, where you're able to travel, where you're able to remove yourself from a particular situation. So if you've been in a particular living situation that you'd like to escape from, uh, then now is an opportunity for you to be able to do that. So if you want to go ahead and actually, um, you know, try and find other accommodation or try to, you know, move, now is the time where it would be a good time for you to do so or to be able to start making those steps towards that. What I see here is an abode which is sacred for you, which is um, a state in which you need to be able to have an environment or create environment around you which is sacred and I feel like for some of you that you haven't had that and it's like you're dreaming about that it's like you're dreaming about how good things can be and how happy you will be as a result of that and so the message here for you is that you know you need to take those steps you need to be able to to actually uh, think that you can step out of this and if you think that um, that financially you are not able to do this you actually you know there's what it's saying to you is that if you take the risk that you will be rewarded for it, that you will actually, it will work out in your favor and that you just need to keep the faith and you need to be open about it um, in order for it to come to you. There's a sense here also that you need to go inward in order to be able to find that space that you need to. So there's this idea about a, being an abode, an abode, a place where you can find that wealth of um of sacred energy but there's also this feeling that you need to be able to go inward you know in order to be able to manifest that which you desire so if you've been outward a lot if your energy has been very much social or outward um, going outward in terms of work or going outward in terms of friends or family or engaging with the public on any way this card is saying to you that it's time to take a step back and go inward and go to that quiet space inside of you before you can manifest that which you truly desire that which is what it all the abundance that you actually are dreaming of i just want to come back to this idea that um you know, if you've been in a in stuck in a in a living space that you actually don't want to be in, really now is the time where the doors are open for you to go ahead and to be able to take action. Now, I want to say that that is just not for this week. I want to say that that energy kind of lasts as well till um, like the end of August or so. So, um, because that is actually an energy that's beyond what these cards are talking about right now. And uh, apologies for the noises out there. Um, so, yeah. If you are thinking of leaving, well, now is a good time to do it. If you don't know how to be able to do it, then uh, take faith. There is a way to be able to do it. And um, just take the first step and everything else will fall into place. OK, so that's your reading for this week. I hope it has been helpful and I'm wishing you all a very blessed week. Please stay safe and stay healthy and many, many blessings from me. So for those of you who've chosen the option number three, the question we're asking is what is our oracle guidance and what is it that we need to know at this time? Uh, so there were two cards coming out but it just doesn't feel ready. It feels a bit premature. So the first card we have is number 29. It's called the world. I'm going to go ahead and choose a couple of other cards. And we have second chakra, Archangel Ariel, the number 36. And we have patience. So the cards we have here are actually quite interesting. I feel like there's a very distinct message for you. And, um, you know, one of the, the messages I think that's coming forth here 
is that one needs to have patience or one needs to take one's time with regard to one's relationships and with regards to all that one desires from a material point of view. So whether it's you waiting for a promotion and an increase in your salary or whether you're waiting for an opportunity to go and study abroad or whether you're waiting for your relationship to come to that point where you actually are, are you know, settling down with each other, all these things all these things, um, they are saying to you, you need to have patience with them, with it. And um, you need to be able to, to work with that energy that's at hand, not to be too much in a hurry. The world is there. It is yours. And it's your space to be able to create that. Whether it's your relationships, or whether it's an opportunity that's a material opportunity, or something outside of you, something that moves you, something that relocates you, something that... Um, you know, um, changes your status. All of these things are within your control. It's not outside of you, it's inside of you. And the second chakra, uh, Archangel Ariel here, this card is talking about how it is that you can understand that your world is inside of you. It's like this world is your womb. It's your uterus inside of you. And this applies to you too, guys. You have this world inside of you and you are the master of it and you're the creator. And you define when something happens. You define when the opportunities come your way. And you define when you're able to release and when you're able to let go and when you're able to allow the world to be able to produce for you. So I feel here that, you know, um, the second chakra has come up and it's like it's saying, well, you know, this is what needs to be in balance. This is where you need to like tight, um, not tighten your grip, but the opposite of that is where you need to like let go a little bit, it, where, where you need to loosen your grip and where you need to just allow things to happen and not be so fixed on a particular idea. Now, sometimes you might not have an idea and you might be saying, well, I'm not fixed on any idea because I just don't know where to go or how to do with this or what to do. But it might be that you're fixed on not letting go and not letting the idea flow. So look at it where, look at where it could be that you you are, because of how um, committed you are to, to one particular idea, you're not allowing other ideas to flow for you because that is the feeling that I'm getting here. And I'm feeling also that, you know, for what you want to create, for what it is that you want to, to make into, in this world, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some months it's going to take a couple of years to be able to bring this into fruition in the way that you want it to be so you really need to take a step back and enjoy the process and just to to allow it to come to develop organically and to uh, to really work for you to really serve you I feel that by holding on to tightly to whatever idea that you have, it's, it's actually pushing away your opportunities. It's it, This world here is getting further and further away for you, from you. But if you understand that this world is inside of you and that you have the power to be able to um, create your world, then all you need to do is surrender to it. And all you need to do is allow it to come to you in its own time. So I feel that this card is very much about that. It's about understanding that what you desire is within your control and it's within your means of manifestation. And you simply need to allow it to come to you when the time is right. In all of these uh, cards, there's an orb, right? And I feel here that this orb this hole, this circle, that that which is, it's yours. It's yours and it's, it's something that you need to be able to create. You can decide what is in that. That is your world. That is your, your life. And you decide what is in it and what's not in it. So if you have a list of things that you don't want in your life, then it's, it's time for you to actually take those things out of your life. And if it's family, and if you're d uh, struggling with um, with with family, you can still be able to create certain boundaries and make certain rules as to what's going to bother you and what's not going to bother you, and how you're going to be able to work with this. I feel here that asking for help, prayer, is also indicated. You know, we have Archangel Ariel here, so I want to say that you can you can go ahead and ask for help and and 
ask for that angelic influence to come in and help you along. You know, Archangel Ariel has a very light energy and it's not this heaviness. I feel here that there is a degree of heaviness that you experience. Yes, you have the world. Yes, you know intellectually that the world is your oyster, but it's not, you're not feeling it. And I feel like here, you know, what you need is a much more joyous energy. What you need is, it's almost like a baby energy, you know, like a newborn baby energy where there's all these opportunities and all this life and potential for life as you live, as you go on. And this is something that, uh, you know, you can create anything you want out of it. You can create anything that you, the, any, a child has all the opportunities available. At, you know, it's, um, it's a clear surface and anything can be created and so you, you need to actually understand that. You need to stop feeling like this world that you want, this reality that you want to create for yourself is so far away. It's so heavy. It's so hard. You need to understand that you have it all within your disposal and that you can actually create it and, you know, imbibe a bit of that energy in you right now because that is that lightness, that easiness, that joy, that abundance, that is what you need to be able to create right now inside of you so that you can go along and have what it is that you desire. And it's not going to look like this. It's going to look like this joy is going to come from within you, you know. And so this is what you can ask Archangel Ariel for. It's to lighten your load and uh, and to be able to to work with that chakra um, with you, to be able to heal your second chakra, to be able to balance that so that your world is not outside of you anymore, but inside of you, and that you are being able to create what it is that you desire. And I feel like for some of you, when I say that, that when you see this card and says patience, that's the last thing you want to hear right now, because you might be feeling that your situation is fairly urgent and that you need to have, you know, you need to take action um, right now. And I want to say, don't despair, you know, you can take action right now. You know, things are going to a corral together it's going to work your, for you as we go along as as we come to the month's end so i feel like here you know what 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 it's talking about in terms of patience is the greater goals that you have so just have a little give it a bit of time and focus on not what you need now at the end of this month but what you need for what you need at the end of um you know of two years or of the end of this year or the end of you know a year from now and and see how it is that you're actually going to to bring it all together um have that uh idea in your head but then also have that idea in your in your belly you know it's like you nurturing a baby in you and you actually need to be able to to give that space to this child to be able to be created you know it's not going to be to happen right now um, it's going to happen a little bit later on. So you need, just need to give it time to be able to brew, to be able to be created, to to develop inside of you. So I, I don't know if those messages have been helpful. I hope they have been. I hope that this has, has made a difference to you today. And um, yeah, I'm wishing you all a very blessed time as you go along. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And, you know, this is yours. Remember that. OK, I want to wish you all a very good time um, as you go along. May you have a wonderful week ahead and may you stay safe and be blessed and um, stay healthy. All right. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.